Happy Homebrew Wednesday, everybody. How you doing out there? Aren't we glad it's Wednesday? You know the other good thing? Wednesdays are, or cool because they're hump day, first off. And the second great thing about Wednesdays is it's Homebrew Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of cheesy, but what the hell? It's what I do. So, what I'm sitting here doing right now is I'm finishing up a, a, a taste of the, my Abbey Trappist Ale. Um, it was actually a recipe that I got out of Beer Advocate. It was a Simply Abbey. Uh, I'm trying to think of what edition well, it came from. It was like the October or November, to, I think November, the November edition of Beer Advocate. Um, the recipe was in there. So I gave it a try, see what happens. I only changed it around a little tiny bit, not much. Um, but this one finished out at 13%. Um, it's got that nice uh, Belgian uh, aroma to it, you know, kind of slight banana. Just a little bit of spice to it or whatever. Actually as it's warming up, the flavors are coming along real nice. When I first poured this it was cold and uh, I wasn't really getting much flavors. It was, for lack of a better way of putting it, I, I thought it was it was thin. But now that it's starting to warm up, it's, uh, it's actually some of the flavors are coming through quite nicely. Yeah, that's actually coming through right nice. 13%, big beer, real big beer. However, it's not, you don't have that alcohol, uh, you don't have that alcohol burn off of this one. I don't quite understand that, but you have the dryness. It's a very dry beer. It's, it, it dries off the tongue. I mean, it's extremely dry. So... This was just a small bottle that, that, that I'd set off when I bottled this up. was going to be, I had planned it was going to be the first bottle that I opened off of it because I wanted to see how the carbonation went. And when I cracked the bottle, it had, you know, a little bit of a pss there, not a whole lot. I'm able, you know, as I sit here and I mess with the glass, that's what you, I mean, keep doing over here. I'm able to work up a little tiny bit of carbonation off of it. Um, not much, though. So, I mean, it's, it, it's very young, very, very young, and, you know, and needs some time to carbonate and everything, but it's coming along. So, that's kind of cool. Um, it's coming along nice. This is going to be one of those beers I'm going to sit on, and uh, if I send any of these out to y'all, I'd, I'd appreciate it if you could sit on them for a little bit. Um, I need to come up with a, I need to come up with a decent label for them. Um, it's, an, it's a Belgian Abbey, so... I'll see if I can come up with something interesting. What the hell? Mm. But I knew this one wasn't going to last very long. So. I got another one out of the fridge. <laughs> this one has come from uh, my good friend, Hokey Homebrew. He sent this out to me a while back. And uh, it says hop. It either says hop or it says do. That's hop upside down and backwards. Hop do. Because it looks like a D, D O, D O H. I'm, I'm sorry. Anyways, let's see. Let's see what his hop looks like. Up, oh, it's starting to carbonate up. So we'll pour this guy here a little bit. I'm using my Liquid Hero glass that I got a couple weeks ago, actually. Oh, nice, clean-looking beer. I thought she was gonna foam up on me, but nah. Good job, Hokey. Look at that. 
Carbonation coming up from the bottom of the glass. Nice, nice color. Just kind of a burnt orange, a slight, about a half finger head. Knife, knife, knife. All of a sudden, I decided, I decided to get a lift. I need to rinse. That Abby is is leaving an aftertaste there that I, I want to have something a little. I want to have the old palette cleaned out so we can give this 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 hop or do beer you know the, the 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 what it deserves wow my camera just went dark excuse me folks let me see if I can bring this back in here whoa there we go that was all about got real dark on me there clean the pile of that a little bit had to give me some water my nose isn't going to be real good although I did catch the hops on that this beer probably sat around too longer than I should have let it sit but the aroma is still there dude Shoot, I bet that this thing may have been sitting there from our first one almost a year ago. Although I don't think so. I I can't remember how long it's been there. Nice. Nice hop. Citrus. Let's give her a go. What do you say? Oh wow, that's nice. <sighs> nice job. Wow, that's a nice balanced beer. The hops are up front, which are real nice, kind of grassy. Grassy, bitter. And then the malt backbone comes in behind it. Dude, well done. Very well done. Hokey Homebrew. If you haven't checked this channel out, go there. Check it out. I'm, I'm sure you have, but in case you haven't, check it out. Subscribe. Do all that jazz to him. The man knows what he's doing when it comes to beer. He does. He's, 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 he's done a fantastic job on that. So I'm going to have to say that your hop beer turned out pretty good. Very nice. <laughs> Anyways, this weekend I plan on doing my uh, my hokey yeast experiment, the ESB. Um, I've been kicking around doing a double batch and just going down and getting a whole other set of, of uh, grains and whatnot. Um, but I haven't quite decided the whole way yet. I have everything I need. I was going to reuse one of my yeast from before, uh, washed yeast, but... When I went and pulled that yeast out, it was no good. Unfortunately, somehow, somehow something got inside my jar and there was a little bit of mold on the top of that and I wasn't going to take a chance on it. Too important. You know, well, I'm saving six, seven dollars on a yeast. So the hell with it. I went down and I bought a new one. So it's sitting in there. I'll be good to go. I got everything I need. I'll be brewing it up. Either Friday night or Saturday, I'll make sure that I film some of that, and uh, try and make sure I have a little bit of fun while we do it. So, got that coming up. I've got uh, my English two dogs licking, which is over here in the second or primary. I'll be transferring that over probably tonight into a secondary, and I've got some kegging to do. I've got a saison in the back that uh, goes for my buddy Timmy. I'm doing a keg for him and a keg for me, so that'll be up soon. And lagers out lagering. So we got things happening here at Little Face Brewing. Well, that's my homebrew Wednesday. Um, I hope everybody's enjoying themselves. I hope everybody's enjoying their homebrew Wednesdays. I'm going to get out of here. This is SJ Poor from Little Face Brewing. Enjoy the fruits of your labor, folks. Brew beer.